welcome back here to Street Talk. We are at Trump Friday's El Capo restaurant. We have our very special guest here. It is Alan. Good evening. Alan, it is great to have you here. You know, I've seen you many times here at Trump Fridays, and now we have the pleasure of interviewing you. So tell us a little bit about yourself. Transplanted New Yorker, came here about 23 years ago, was an attorney and builder. Out here, I'm just a builder. Wow, well, fantastic. Now, do you build residential, commercial? Re residential, and I brought my five kids and my 12 grandkids with me. Did you really? Now, where were you in New York? Uh, on Long Island in a place called Laurel Hollow. Fantastic. Is that pretty far out? Is that like by it's West Sayville? It's on the North Shore on the water next to Huntington. All right, so you get out here, coming from New York, and all of a sudden, it's culture shock. It was fine. <laughs> I did. I will tell you that when my wife and I drove up Pima, there was no 101, but we looked into the distance and we saw bridges. And there were no roads connecting the bridges. And I looked at my wife and I go, there's no roads. She goes, no, there's no roads. So the bottom line was we got home and we called people and found out that the contract for the bridges was done before the contract for the roads. But we found the whole thing to be a little bit unlike New York. Oh, I'll tell you what. <laughs> oh, my gosh. That must have just freaked you out. You know, Pima Road is where the city limits ends and then it, it's all part of the Indian territory. Yeah, and when we got home, we turned on the news and the first story on the news was where the policemen were hiding to give you tickets and the second story was how it rained for two and a half minutes earlier in the day. Yeah, and it was a deluge. I tell you, we uh, looked at one another and said this could be a mistake. But you've been here now for 20, how many years? years? 23 years, and what do you think? I think it's terrific. I really do. Even with the heat in the summer, uh, it's just a wonderful place. You see blue skies every day. It's beautiful. But uh, last week I had an opportunity to interview a lovely lady named Jo, and she was actually on, I believe it was the city council, when uh, our president, Donald Trump, was just a young man. He had just started, separated from his father in business, and he was doing some of his first projects, and she helped him out. Now. When he talks and his demeanor, which a lot of us out here out west were like, oh my gosh, I can't believe, you know, his attitude, how he talks about people, how that's kind of a New York attitude, isn't it? Trump grew up on 179th Street and Hillside Avenue. I grew up on 229th Street and Hillside Avenue, the same exact time. So we, we actually talk a lot. Of, you see, I understand the direct approach. Right. A lot of people out here, when I start to talk to them, they start walking away. You know, they don't want, they don't want to get involved in this stuff. You know, I, I think the average person who grew up here, I grew up here, but I've traveled so much. And when you get out there, I, when you go into a restaurant, the, the waitress or waiter will come up and they'll say, hey, are you going to order or what? It's not a hello, how are you, have a nice day, nothing like here. No, it certainly isn't. And the reason why, um, you know, I come here obviously in support of Trump, but I was driving around the community for the last couple of weeks and I was looking at what's going on. I was looking at the domestic production here, which is phenomenal. Yeah. I was looking at all the, uh, the commercial projects that are going on and also the infrastructure on every damn block holding up the traffic. Yeah. And I thought back to 208 and 209 when Obama was president oh. and the air park was half empty. Yeah. We had no domestic, we had no commercial and you know infrastructure was the thing of the past. So to see the growth in Phoenix and Scottsdale under the administration of Trump has been absolutely phenomenal and I wanted to just say that tonight because I'm amazed at what's going yeah. on. Ama it really is amazing. I was there in 2008, yep. 2009, I mean, a lot of us lost a lot of money, a lot. I hope that wasn't you. I lost eight million. Oh my gosh, well, 
I want to tell you how much I love. <laughs> well, I'll tell you, but you're doing well. What's the name of your company? North Scottsdale Land Development. I build houses up in Rio Verde. Oh, very nice. Oh, they're so beautiful up I there. I love Rio Verde. You come out at night, you look up, and you see a million stars. You don't get that anyplace else. No, definitely not in New York. I don't even think in Long Island you get that. No, no. I don't even go back to New York because of uh, the governor and the, and the mayor now. Wow, I can't believe, I can't believe how they're treating him. You know, he was, he was the golden child for all those years. Yep. He built things that nobody else could build. He did them for under budget. He did them on time or even before time. And now they're upset with him? No, they're not. <laughs> so what is try. it? What is it? He, Tell us the backstory. Just, it's just the way Cuomo handles things, okay? If he insults someone else, it deflects from him because of his failure as a governor. Yeah. And, you know, he said that about, about Trump yesterday, that Trump can't walk the streets of New York City because they hate him. I am expecting Air Force One to land on Fifth Avenue one of these days and for Trump to get off and walk up and down and thousands of people surround them and cheer and cheering, yeah. And cheer. Yeah, yeah. Well, you know what? It's all playing that game. You know, they do they do really like our president. They just can't let anybody else know, right? I, I agree with you. Yeah. yeah. Well, I'll tell you what. It is so fantastic to have you out here. Thanks so much and best with your business. Just for one more, one more plug about your business. North Scottsdale Land Development, we build houses up in Rio Verde. Well, we build houses anywhere, but most of my houses are up in Rio Verde. Well, I'd love to see some of those houses as well. Anytime. And thank you, and thank you for joining us here at Street Talk. You know, we're here every single Friday at El Cabo Restaurant for Trump Fridays, and I know you support our wonderful president, and it's going to be a wonderful 2020 election. I hope so. <laughs> All right, until next time, I'm Ray Michaels. We'll see you real soon.